Yes. So how are you all? I hope all of you are doing fine because all of you have a Dharma wisdom in this difficult time. I hope that everyone is uh, keeping good health both mentally and physically. I hope so. Yeah. <clears throat> mm. So, uh, uh, so uh, as I mentioned before, I'm not good in this all this device thing, and at the moment, uh, somehow I cannot go to a screen that where I can see everybody. So I'm sorry. So just uh, in emptiness, uh, just uh, visualize every one of you there. <laughs> uh, okay. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> Okay, we take a moment to uh, calm our mind by withdrawing uh, our, you know, grasping towards our past uh, experiences, past memories, events, in particularly those of uh, negative experiences, uh, negative imprints. Uh, or events that had in the past, and you are still, you know, grasping or clinging on to it by letting go, <clears throat> uh, which which brings about the purification of uh, those negativities, and try to uh, focus uh, our energy in the present moment. At the same time, <clears throat> uh, not to uh, let our mind. Uh, you know, uh, to get distracted by the future concerns. <clears throat> uh, you you using uh, using uh, using the uh, lo using logic and yeah, using a logic that uh, there's no benefit. There's no advantage or there's no benefit of clinging on the, of the past uh, past events of, or clinging on the past experiences, especially to those negative. If you cling on to it, if you're holding holding back onto it, it will only uh, you know contribute to the accumulation of those negativities in the form of coming into. So there's only. Uh, disadvantage in that <clears throat> by letting go there's an advantage of purifying uh, past negativities past negative experiences if the if the experiences in relation to harm caused by others or action action related to others and there's only benefit to forgive it you know uh, let go and forgive and to those harm givers to those who brought uh, those negative experiences in, in your life, that which you are unable to let go up to today. That's only beneficial and advantage if we let go, if we forgive. That will help to release ourselves from the bondage of suffering, of clinging onto it. If we don't, there's only negative consequences only disadvantage to that. Even if we think of one time, think of those negative experiences, just even one time, it accumulate, it, it leave the, it leave negative imprint in our mental continuum, and it, it become abundance of causes of uh, future sufferings. No doubt that it become a causes of present suffering, but it also create abundance of causes of future suffering. Mm -hmm. And also uh, using the logic that the nature of the future moments lies in impermanent, indefinite. So therefore, there's, there's no benefit or for us to get distracted by hallucinational 
you know, projections and plannings. By understanding, by using the uh, logical understanding of how cause and effect uh, works, or in another word, every existence is by product of cause and condition. And all the future moments during this lifetime, beyond this life, starting from the next very moment, will be so beneficial, will come in our way, the way we want, if we accumulate the right causes in the present moment, or if we create the right condition to ripen the past meritorious karmic imprint in order for us to have an abundance of causes for future uh, happiness, future positivity. So this is the reason why we need to be in the present moment. This is the reason why we have to withdraw the destruction and disturbing emotion in relation to the past and future. This is the reason uh, why it's so beneficial for us to, uh, you know, get deeper level in the present moment of in our conscious. So while breathing lengthy, deeply in and out, uh, using, you know, uh, mentally this understanding and try to settle ourselves in the present moment. Mm -hmm. Then the next step is that uh, just quieting our mind from the destruction of the past and future and, and remaining in the present moment quietly, uh, you know, that, that doesn't fulfill the entire purpose <clears throat> or the main purpose of why you are, are being in the present moment. Uh, uh, in that way, we are not fully utilizing the potential of our present moment. If we just quiet our mind in the present moment, we are not really thinking, you know, capability of our cultivation, and just simply you know, resting in the tranquility, that is not our full potential. There is a benefit, but there's, but we have much more greater benefit we can achieve by being in the present moment. And that is the cultivation of uh, virtuous, virtuous heart. In particularly, uh, cultivation of altruism, cultivation of great compassion, And our mind has the capability, uh, you know, of uh, fully, fully uh, be able to express the altruistic you know, attitude. Our absolute being <clears throat> uh, can go beyond, you know. Uh, cherishing just oneself or cherishing the well-being of just you know a few number of people of your loved one we have the capability to cherish the well-being of numberless humanity numberless numberless sentient beings 
not just the humanity, but numberless sentient beings. Our absolute being has the capability to uh, to cause numberless sentient beings free from entire oceans of samsara, entire oceans of suffering, entire oceans of causes of suffering, the delusional contaminations. So this is our, our capability. From beginningless lifetime, if in case, uh, you know, some individual still not sure about asserting, uh, you know, uh, in the reincarnation or many life in the past, even within this lifetime, we never really utilize our full potential to bring immense of benefit. We're not even utilizing, you know, uh, even a one percentage of our absolute capability. And that is very true, that is very clear that majority of our emotions you know express in uh, negative emotions such as self-cherishing attitude uh, you know self-centered ego or mind jealousy you know ignorant uh, etc Mm. In fact, all these negative emotions are uh, not really, uh, you know, instinct nature of our being, instinct nature of our mind. In fact, these emotions are not in the nature of, in the, in, the, in the fundamental nature of our mind. That what really uh, mm, and what of those, you know, uh, mind that which, uh, that comes with the you know, absolute nature of mind are the altruism, wisdom and alt altruistic minds. You know, genuine love, kindness, compassion, you know, bodhicitta, selflessness, emptiness, you know, all this in fact comes, all this in fact is the uh, the real characteristic of our fundamental being. And we never really utilize those pre-existing, you know, uh, potential uh, in, in, full, in, in full capabilities. We never really utilize that. The evidence for that is we are still, you know, not free from negative emotions. We still get dominated, you know, stay under the control of negative emotions. Our day-to-day -day experiences are like a roller coaster. Our day-to-day -day life, the experiences are very much like in the roller coaster. Mm, there's no sustainable inner peace. There's no sustainable virtue in our mental economy. And these are the evidence that, uh, that we didn't utilize the full potential of our, our, our inner potential. We, for, we forget to use it. You see, so therefore, now, mm, you know, uh, whatever it may be, either the 
suffering circumstances in the life, or, or either the blessings of the Buddha, or blessings of the uh, past uh, meritorious deeds. Uh, bring us to be really conscious, you know, truly realize our true potential. through the <clears throat> uh, cultivation of uh, the, uh, the altruistic potential within our mind. So, <clears throat> we recognize uh, they are numberless sentient beings, not numberless, uh, yeah, <clears throat> you know, minimum seven billion human beings. And there are numberless animals. And numberless beings that who don't carry physical aggregates, you know, just, uh, live in the spirit and there are uh, sentient beings that uh, who are in the state of uh, unbearable you know intense experience of suffering uh, which we label as hell beings and there is uh, who are slightly more fortunate than those hell beings, hungry ghosts and animal, but still subjected uh, to the pervasive suffering. Uh, who, is, uh, who is still, who is still, uh, <laughs> uh, maybe you can maybe you can mute, maybe you can mute everybody then after that I can on the the mute maybe this thank you <clears throat> Thank you. Yeah. So So you're mute. So also numberless gods and demigods, you know. So all these uh, six realm sentient beings are, um, re you know, related to each and every one of us. Yeah. They, they has been our teacher, they has been our relatives, you know, they has been our parents in the past lifetimes, you know, you know many, many lifetimes, you know, many rounds of times. Mm. But then each and every one of them uh, <clears throat> uh, is still bounded by karma and delusion, still in the in the realm of samsara. And most of the sentient beings, you compare to your own situation, you are far more better positioned than them. <clears throat> so therefore, <clears throat> uh, it is a full responsibility by each and every one of us to dedicate you know, this very present moment and rest of the very present moment in every single future existence to 
mm, to offer benefit to them. So there are many different tools, uh, many different ways to offer benefit. Uh, mm, one of them is by cultivating uh, virtues within us and dedicating to them. Uh, then there are many uh, other methods uh, or practices like Onlen practices, taking and giving practices is a very powerful, uh, you know, Buddhist practice to elevate others from suffering and offer, uh, you know, benefits of your merits, your fort fortunes, your positivities. Mm -hmm. So therefore, uh, this very session that we all coming together, each and every, every one of us come together with positive intention, full of positive energy, mm. uh, and what we're going to do, what we already started to do is to, uh, you know, realizing our positive potential, that alone create so much positive impact. Uh, cultivation of altruism, which we are doing right now, bring uh, accumulate extensive mer merits and uh, virtuous karma, merits that which we already dedicating for the benefit of numberless sentient beings. Then rest of the time that we spend together, you know, uh, will be fully in virtue, fully in dharma, fully in gathering of uh, meritorious uh, uh, imprints, meritorious karma. And each and every of those positive doings will be absolutely beneficial for the numberless sentient beings, purification of suffering that is causes, and actualizations of happiness and causes of happiness. So therefore, <clears throat> feel, you know, take a moment to feel how fortunate uh, that, you know, even in the midst of samsara, in the midst of so much, you know, uh, uh, sufferings going, on, going within the humanity, but still, you know, we have opportunity, we have time, uh, we have access, uh, you know, to, to cultivate such a virtue. So feel very fortunate, feel happy. Oh yeah, okay, thank you. <clears throat> so yeah, so today uh, without uh, I get distracted, uh, I will go through the text <clears throat> and our uh, subject is on the Tonglen practice. But before we discuss on the Tonglen practice, uh, <clears throat> uh, we need to discuss the preliminary uh, teachings in order for us to you know, uh, have the full capability to ex to uh, to actualize the actual tongue and practice. And in fact, uh, our last session, uh, mm, we also did uh, discuss on the power of cultivation of compassion. <clears throat> uh, and here in the text too, <clears throat> uh, the verse. The LC uh, verse 89, you know, discuss about the generating compassion, the foundation of the Mayanic path. So the Tonglen practice is the Mayanic practice, <clears throat> Mayanic Dharma, <clears throat> and uh, generating compassion, cultivation of compassion, serve as a foundation uh, uh, to, to develop uh, altruism there, uh, and also to 
to to actualize fully matured you know uh, practice of Tonglen practices or taking and giving. So first of all, uh, Tonglen, Tong Tong is giving, Len is taking. To Tonglen, <clears throat> so giving and and taking. So give here, Tong refer to you know uh, giving all your virtues. Uh, uh, you know all the positive things and all the goodness uh, you offer to rest of the numberless sentient beings uh, through your intention. You know, uh, in the actual in actions of your body, speech, and mind, uh, uh, through the channel of meditation, like such as uh, using uh, the technique of breathing, like also uh, in the, um, in in the in the Buddhist. Um, you know, scriptures talks about using, uh, uh, you know, the the air that uh, the breathing in and out, You're using that channel uh, to offer. <clears throat> when you breathe out, you offer uh, all your possibilities, you know, uh, to rest of the sentient beings, and through concentration, using the channel of concentration, uh, using the power of mantra, using the power of samadhi. You know, you are able to send or you're able to deliver um, uh, your benefits into the rest of the sentient beings, you know, uh, like that. <clears throat> uh, taking uh, land, take, taking uh, uh, all other sentient beings, suffering and it is causes, and elevating them in the state of freedom from all the sufferings. Mm. Again, using, you know, uh, mantra, samadhi, mm -hmm. uh, and also, uh, like, uh, as mentioned before, through the technique of uh, breathing in and out. So when you breathe in, you know, you take other suffering like that. Mm. So uh, when you take the other suffering, uh, it's not like you're taking into your body. It's not you're you're taking uh, into your heart, and and you experience the suffer, suffering. It's, it's, it doesn't mean that. Mm, of course, we will discuss this more elaborate later. But just to give, uh, uh, you know, the the main theme, uh, whatever we're going to discuss, including the foundational teaching on compassion, is in order for us to get to the point of. You know, actualizing the practice of Tonglen. So when we take others' suffering, others' negativity, we are taking on to uh, the the ultimate, uh, the root cause of of why sentient beings are suffering and why you yourself are suffering, which is the self grasping and self cherishing attitude makes uh, oneself to equip this samsaric samsaric aggregates and samsaric mind, samsaric senses for us to you know perceive samsaric sentient beings out there. <clears throat> uh, you see, so the so why there's existence of suffering sentient being out there? Uh, because of uh, the self grasping and self cherishing attitude. Uh, uh, if you're able to destroy that, you know, you're able to Purify the entire impurities, you know. Mm. Like in Buddha's in Buddha's perception, Buddha is purified being. So in Buddha's perception, uh, in Buddha's mind, you know, there's no samsara, there's no suffering sentient being, because his mind, uh, his being, his his perceptions are purified. His self grasping, self cherishing are purified. Mm -hmm. Uh, because we are not purified, therefore, you know, we perceive suffering sentient beings. You know, in fact, there is a suffering sentient being, uh, which conditioned by self-grasping and self-challenging attitude. Mm. Uh, suffering sentient beings, samsara, delusion, exists in the Buddha's eye. But in Buddha's eye, do not exist samsara. Do not exist suffering sentient being, do not exist delusions. You see, so there's two different. You see. So therefore, mm, 
the, the, therefore, the root cause of oneself being in samsara, oneself experiencing samsaric suffering, uh, and other and 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 there's existing of suffering sentient being out there. The root cause is self grasping and self cherishing attitude. So, when you take others' suffering, when you take others' negativities, you are taking on to self grasping and self cherishing attitude, and that brings about the destroying of the root cause, the self grasping and self cherishing attitude. Mm, like that. Uh, so when you offer, uh, you condition, you know, the other sentence. You condition yourself. Uh, uh, to to develop the, uh, the our innate uh, Buddha nature, our innate being uh, to actualize, you know, fully awaken uh, uh, by developing the two aspects of Buddha nature, the conventional Buddha nature, ultimate Buddha nature. You know, by cultivating loving kindness, compassion, Buddha jita, you know, it helps to develop the uh, conventional Buddha nature by cultivating uh, wisdom, selflessness of uh, the emptiness of self, emptiness of phenomena, help to develop our ultimate Buddha nature, and eventually it will actualize the fully, you know, full develop, you know, the 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 uh, the, the Buddha, the Buddha's uh, uh, Buddha's Dharmakaya form and Buddha's Rupakaya form, you know. So, you know, uh, it, will result, it will result into the four bodies of the Buddha. Uh, by developing self, by developing emptiness of self and the emptiness of phenomena, this wisdom will result uh, Buddha's truth body and Buddha's wisdom body. By developing loving kindness, compassion, altruism, uh, will will actualize Buddha's form body, Sambhavakaya and and uh, Sambhavakaya and Nimanakaya form body. You see, mm. so by giving merit to others, you know, by dedicating merit to others, by dedicating all your goodness to others, uh, you condition uh, other sentient beings uh, within themselves. To develop the true Buddha nature and fully awaken in the state of the Buddha's four body by by offering your your virtues to others, by you know through the practice of pāṇa. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not like you are transferring your virtue to others, you know, which is not which is not possible. It's not like you are you are you know cleansing, uh, washing away you know other sin. It's not that way, but you by generating uh, the practice of altruism in Tonglen practice, you are conditioning. You, know, you are conditioning others uh, for themselves. You know, equipped with those conditions to fully ripen. Uh, you know their own you know, innate being of the Buddha nature. You know into a fully awakened state. You see, so so like that. So. Mm, so to be able to do, uh, you know, this Tonglen practice uh, most effectively, then uh, first of all we need to have, uh, you know, the the foundations. We, uh, our our heart has to be fully convinced uh, uh, the uh, convince, you know, how how this practice really works. So in order to do that, then we need to discuss uh, this foundation of teaching. So in the uh, verse 89, it says, Having considered how all these miserable beings have been my mothers and have raised me with kindness again and again, I seek your blessing to develop effortless compassion like that of a loving mother for her precious child. Mm. Uh, of course, this this uh, this you know, teaching comes from Buddha's own word, the Sutra, mm. uh, mm. and also uh, it appears in the commentary of uh, the pandits, and well, uh, you know, commentary, well, 
uh, emphasized within the mm, the tragedies of the Masidas. And this particular uh, the writing is uh, the composition of Benjamin Lohs and Chirpi Jensen, the who composed Lama Chirpa, uh, the Guru Guru Puja practice. You know, so Benjamin Lohs and Chirpi Jensen, you know, uh, mm, uh, illustrate uh, the, the 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 teachings of the Buddha, teachings of the pandits, teachings of the Masidas. You know, uh, through through this verse uh, in the uh, uh, in the teachings of the compassion. As, as the foundations of the Mayan path. You see? So having considered how all these miserable sentient beings have for my mother, mm, mm, uh, so, it, uh, so having considered, mm, you know, we need to, mm, uh, yeah, um, mm, <clears throat> You see, it's just because of the interruptions uh, of uh, the changes that goes through, you know, death, then rebirth. Uh, due to that, due to, due to, due to, you know, not being aware of, uh, you know, uh, not being aware you know how the, the how the connection you know uh, really happens uh, exist uh, you know after death uh, until to the rebirth you know, due to that we are unable to uh, realize the existence of the previous life <clears throat> and not only that the all the relationship that we had with others in our previous lifetime. You know, if we have a certain degree of clairvoyance or certain degree of meditative state of mind, you know, uh, mm, uh, it is not also something difficult for us to recognize in you know, our previous lifetime, you know. So as long as you have a certain degree of med meditative state of mind, you know, from there, uh, look, look through the meditative state of mind, you, know, you can able to, you know, perceive, the existence of the past lifetime, you see. Then, of course, if you, uh, through the cultivation of, uh, you know, concentration, you can develop a clear ones to recognize, you know, many previous lifetime, you know, even all the way up to the beginningless of the previous lifetime, you see. So, uh, so within the beginningless of our previous lifetime, we have uh, been born uh, through the womb, you know, we we have actualized the womb, uh, womb birth, you know, many 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 lifetimes. Uh, so each time we take as a womb birth, you know, uh, we need to rely on other sentient being like a mother mm, uh, to to have the life. You see, so mm, since the life is beginningless, and we have taken numberless lifetime of the womb, womb, womb birth, uh, uh, even the, the each and every single sentient being, uh, you know, taking the turn to be our mother, just being, just, uh, uh, let's we'll say, even take uh, numberless time also, not, uh, not enough, because of having beginningless lifetime. So, do, so therefore, each and every single sentient being has been our mother, like our present mother, being like our father, like a present father, being like our brother, sister, or, or your partner, or your teacher, your guru, your student, or you know, your friend, or whatever. Uh, each and every single sentient being, in reality, has been numberless times you know, in such, such relationship to yourself, you see. So, um, so, so he said, having considered how all this my, uh, miserable sentient being has have been uh, my mother. So, <clears throat> so one, you know, uh, uh, generally mother being one of the, you know, uh, the closest, uh, as, as a human being, one of the closest, you know, emotional level, uh, usually, you know, of course, one or two, a few people, exceptional, you know, they, due to the force of past karma, 
or present condition. You know, they have very bad relationship with their, their mother. Uh, but majority uh, and generally, uh, by its nature, uh, you know, the children have the closest connection to the mother. You see. <clears throat> so, uh, and in actual fact, the numberless sentient being has been one's mother. So now, you know, we need to come to a position that consider that the old sentient being has been your mother. Whether the mother that to whom that you don't have good relationship or not, you know, uh, there has been a uh, the, the 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 mother that uh, usually that have the closest you know uh, connection. The uh, among all the people comes in your life, the uh, the mother is the one that who provided the more maximum benefit, you know, most benefit to you. <clears throat> you see, so considering that all sentient being has been your mother and have raised me with the kindness again and again. So you see, so generally the mother's relation to the child is uh, only, you know, offering benefit. Uh, not only one time, but again and again, you know, in, in beginningless lifetime. So, therefore, then uh, we seek the blessing to develop effortless compassion. You know, we seek the blessing from Buddhas, we seek the blessings from Bodhisattvas and the Gurus. Uh, uh, mm, the reason that why we are seeking blessing uh, for us to you know, generate genuine sense of compassion to each and every uh, single numberless sentient beings <clears throat> uh, by seeing them as your mother because our mind uh, is, is um, uh, habituated, you know, much with negative emotion from beginning as now. So due to that, uh, it is not easy for us to have this open sense, open state of mind, <clears throat> you know, very selfless and a uh, very compassionate state of mind, even though it is being our absolute nature, as we did, as we mentioned at the beginning, but due to the influence uh, by the negative emotion, uh, uh, you know, if we don't use uh, our deeper thinking level of mind or meditative state of mind, if we're just using our conceptual state of mind or gross mind, then. Uh, it is not easy for us to open our heart. It's not easy for us to generate great compassion. You see. So therefore, mm, uh, visualizing Buddhas, Bodhisattvas, and Gurus, that whose theme, uh, whose main cultivation is great compassion, mm, mm, uh, and seeking their blessing, you know, to to develop effortless compassion. So effortless here is you know to 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 generate the compassion in absolute in the you know fully ripened result you know not 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 the not the creative compassion uh you know uh not not kind of uh uh yeah uh you know the, the compassion that which develop in a fully matured in a reali in a realization level which which is the spontaneous arising of the compassion you know so for that, then we need uh, immense blessings, uh, like such as Buddhist Alba Cherisik, who is embodiment of uh, numberless Buddha's compassion. So by, re by visualizing Cherisik and uh, requesting, you know, uh, making supplication prayers, uh, uh, requesting blessings, you know, uh, through, the, through the visualization of light and nectar um, and Remember, uh, was say reflecting to the qualities or the characteristic of you know compassionate Buddha. So that way, help our mind to you know uh, nurture, to develop you know effortless compassion. Uh, <clears throat> so like that of loving mother for the precious child. Like when we talk about effortless compassion, like how uh, the loving mother that expresses you know, the concern and care to the precious child, you know, more than her own life. Uh, and that is like effortless compassion. Uh, you know, it does not require any reasoning uh, or, or, or yeah, any reasoning for the generation of that sense of, you know, 
of protection, the sense of uh, kindness and care to your beloved child you know, by the mother, uh, isn't it? Yeah, you know, because there's a uh, there's a there's a deep you know uh, relation, uh, the natural relation between the mother to the the precious child. Uh, it does not require uh, you know any a reason to generate that kind of sense of compassion. So here we need to develop uh, the, uh, that kind of natural state of compassion to the rest of the numberless sentient beings. So, <clears throat> so the last line is very much uh, giving us an example, you know, what it means by the, the, uh, the compassion in realization aspect. You know, it's, it has to be spontaneous, you know, <clears throat> and like that. So, <clears throat> so, uh, so these verses, also uh, emphasize the teachings uh, on the seven point cause and effect, uh, which is one of the uh, you know technique to develop uh, altruism, bodhicitta, uh, which practice uh, bless uh, from the lineage of asanga, uh, bless in, from the lineage of the maitreya, you know, like such as Buddha maitreya. Asanga, you know, uh, Selimba, Adisha, these great Indian pandits, uh, then all the way up to the uh, Tibetan great Masidas, like uh, Kadava Master, like Isha Domdemba, you know, Chekawa, Sharawa, Chengawa, uh, you know, all the way up to, you know, the living Kadava Masters, like, you know, this one is the Dalai Lama, like Yabjana Masudam, so like this, mm. uh, living masters. You know they follow the the they, they use the technique of the seven cause and effect that which the, the which the technique that utilize you know uh, mm, uh, uh, all the way up to the uh, Buddha Maitreya you know who who Buddha Maitreya today is who Asanga today is who Lama Atisha Lama Selimba Geshe Domdemba you know. Uh, who they are today uh, uh, as, a, as a Bodhisattva, as an Arya Bodhisattva, as an enlightened Buddha, is because of the using the technique of seven point cause and effect and able to develop, you know, uh, the effortless compassion, able to develop uh, altruism, then, you know, eventually uh, actualize the, the, the full state of the Buddhahood. Uh, you see, so um, so the seven cause and effect. Uh, first one is recognizing all sentient beings as a mother. So second one is uh, recognizing, you know, the how the mother has been kind, uh, like as mentioned in this verse. Uh, you know, they have raised me with kindness again and again. You know, you know remembering all the kindness uh, that they have offered whenever that you've been their child, beloved child. Uh, so even uh, within one circle of lifetime, when there are numberless sentient beings that who are not playing the role of you know, being the mother of that lifetime, but each and every single sentient being you know, offer benefit to us, including those enemy, including those strangers, you know, they offer benefit to us. <clears throat> uh, uh, you know, sentient beings, you know, all the sentient beings are the object where we are able to accumulate merit, where we are able to uh, cultivate uh, all the virtues, loving kindness, compassion. You know, if there's no sentient being, we won't able to cultivate that. So because of the cultivation, because of the kindness of the numberless sentient being, while they are playing the role within their lifetime as a mother, uh, even while they are not playing the role of the mother within their lifetime, you know, each and every one of them being kind to yourself, kind to you know your own development, your own freedom uh, from the self existence. You know, uh, all the happiness after the Buddhahood, all the future happiness after the Buddhahood comes from that ascension thing. So, so, <clears throat> so, uh, uh, recognizing you know all this uh, kindness uh, of the of the mother ascension being. Then the third one is. Uh, engaging in the practice of repaying those kindness, uh, like such as 
uh, you know, cultivation of loving kindness to the sentient being, you know, <clears throat> uh, by engaging in compassion in action, you know, to, to your living parents, to your uh, families, you know, to, to your friends, and to the rest of the humanity, rest of the sentient being, in, in whatever capability you have, you know, uh, offering, uh, uh, repaying the kindness, you know, through virtuous deeds. <clears throat> then, fourth one is generating uh, genuine love, unconditional love. You see, the love, uh, the definition of love is uh, the heart that expressing, uh, you know, the sentient beings to be, uh, sentient beings to actualize happiness and causes of happiness. You know, unconditional great love is uh, expressing numberless sentient beings to be abide from temporary happiness after the ha ultimate happiness and enlightenment and uh, actualize all the causes and conditions for that. So that is the minor, uh, you know, unconditional great love. Mm. So then after that uh, is the uh, great compassion, uh, the mind that which expresses uh, sentient beings to be uh, free from suffering and uh, free from causes of the suffering. So the great compassion is the mind that which express numberless sentient beings to be free from the entire oceans of samsara and it is causes. And so that is the great compassion. So then after that, then the number six, uh, the technique is to develop the uh, the most courageous we call the special heart, uh, which uh, by taking responsibility by yourself, you know, by myself alone will fulfill the aspiration of great love and great compassion. Uh, you know, uh, by myself alone, without delay even a moment, without relying without relying on anybody that I will uh, cause numberless sentient beings to be free from suffering and its causes and abide them in the temporary happiness after the everlasting happiness of enlightenment. So, so this is very good, you know, for us to uh, be mindful of uh, reminding compassion, not to get disturbed. Okay, when someone makes this noise, not to get disturbed. You know, it's it's a, it's a perfect reminder. Perfect reminder. You know, your mother sentient being is reminding you. Uh, to to you know to especially focus on that person, <laughs> not like that. <laughs> uh, so anyway, yes, uh, you see. So so even you know uh, uh, in the positions of that unable to engage in in action, you know, delivering, uh, repaying the kindness of all mother sentient beings. Uh, or causing, uh, you know, immediate, directly, uh, the uh, the result of in you know, aspiration, uh, the result that expressed by great love and great compassion, but even simply by generating in our heart uh, the rest of the numberless sentient beings, you know, receive the benefit, uh, receive the benefit as a conditional causes uh, for them to ripen their past virtues, you know, to, uh, <clears throat> uh, for themselves to, uh, to uh, ripen their past, you know, virtues imprint and cause themselves to, you know, liberate from uh, sufferings and actualize uh, uh, the benefit of happiness like that. So, <clears throat> uh, so even for us to physically able to cause you know, in uh, most effectively to uh, the inspiration, the the aspiration that expressed by great compassion and love has to be developed 
you know, starting from cultivation in our heart, you know. So therefore, in, in, in like such in Buddhist Ramacharya or in all the Mayan and Dharma teach about, uh, first we develop the aspiration of Bodhi, Bodhicitta. Then after that, then we develop the engaging Bodhicitta. You see, so there's a stages to go, you see. So, so therefore, uh, you know, we don't have to kind of, you know, uh, think that, oh, this is, this is overwhelming. You know, this is like too hard. Uh, how, how possible, you know, and uh, uh, people do give up because of it, it, is, it is too extensive, you know. Uh, but in actual, actual fact is that uh, there's, a, there's a gradual process for us to develop. Then we will get there without any choice, you know, it's just a matter of time. So we just need to, uh, like all the past Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, you know, when you look into their, <clears throat> their, their deeds during the training in the path, in each and every Buddhas and each and every Bodhisattvas, you know, look into their biography or look into their, uh, their life story, you know, uh, each and every one of them, you know, uh, had the similar position like us and develop from the baby steps, you know, all the way, up, all the way until that they become who they are today. You see, so therefore, even at the beginning, just by generating Buddhist motivation, we are in fact, you know, following the footstep, footstep of the past Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, you know, and that is um, already uh, uh, nurture our heart uh, to 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 next time when we when we again regenerate the Buddhist uh, intention, you know, our Buddhist will be much more intense, much more familiar. You know, and this uh, familiarized bodhicitta through such a uh, process eventually will come to a stage that uh, we, we can able to engage directly in action uh, of compassion and, and great love. Uh, you see, so like that. So even the practice of Tonglen initially is very much, you know, training of our heart, mm. you know, through intention. Uh, and when we reach higher uh, level of practices uh, through much habituation in 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 the in the cultivation of those trainings, you know, eventually we can really uh, be most effective. Uh, like such as uh, you know, Buddhists have a great hearted that literally able to give you know your physical body flesh to the five tigers family. You know, and there are many stories. And in fact, part of this uh, teaching, I wanted to go through uh, the re uh, reading of some of the uh, the life story of some of the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, uh, where they illustrate when they were in the training. Uh, you know, uh, like in the in the practice of Tonglen, you know how they really, literally, you know, in action of giving physically. Uh, uh, you know your happiness, you know your your prosperities, and your merit to others, and literally you are taking others uh, suffering onto you. You know, uh, but, but what we are doing now is 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 a correct process. You know, uh, starting from our motivation uh, like that. So, so then uh, after the cultivation of the number six point from the seven point thought transformation, then the result will be. Uh, Bodhicitta, you know, uh, the, the actual uh, altruism, the, the fully matured compassion or fully matured love is the call as a Bodhicitta. So Bodhicitta uh, is the mind that which equip, uh, or, or mind that has the characteristic of the true aspiration. One aspiration is that you aspire to liberate numberless sentient beings, you know, up to the state of full enlightenment. You know, you 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 aspire to uh, elevate numberless sentient being. Uh, you, you aspire to uh, actualize numberless sentient being in the state of full enlightenment. The second aspiration is, for that reason, then you aspire yourself to actualize state of full enlightenment. <clears throat> 
So mind that which equipped with these two aspirations is called bodhicitta or the buddhi mind, you see. Again, this buddhi mind, uh, you know, has to be developed from a very, from the very beginning baby step and all the way up to the actual, uh, you know, spontaneous realization. So, so you see, so the baby step is for, for first of all, for, for us to, you know, at least intentionally, you know, we try to uh, uh, cultivate at least in intentional level. And this is something that what most of us, we do in our day-to-day -day life, whatever action, you know, before any action we perform, uh, we try to uh, perform, which infused by the bodhicitta intention, isn't it? So this is the correct way of training in our day-to-day -day life. Then uh, uh, developing the, uh, the causes, you know, uh, the gradual causes to, to resolve the bodhicitta intention, uh, the bodhicitta realization, realization in bodhicitta, which is for us to train through the uh, seven cause and effect, you know. And then, of course, there's one another method, which is called the four, uh, four techniques, um, the uh, four technique of self exchanging with others called Dashen Yamje. The, the, the technique, the lineage, they utilize and came from you know, Buddha Majushri, uh, Nagarjuna, uh, Shantideva, uh, then yeah, all the Kadamba, all the pandits, all the Kadamba masters. So in fact, all the uh, the past uh, uh, Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, uh, you know, uh, whichever technique that they use, they combine with other technique. You know, they may be using one of the technique as a main guideline but then supplemented by the other technique, you see. So even in the teachings of Lama Tsongkhapa, you know, Lama Tsongkhapa uh, emphasized that uh, the combined technique is, you know, can be most effective, you know, like, like people like us can be, can be more, most effective. So those of us that who wish to, you know, combine these two techniques together uh, as a guideline to train our heart, uh, towards the actualization of bodhicitta, then you know first uh, you uh, you know at least generate you know uh, altruistic motivation to engage into this gradual training. Then uh, uh, after that, then you you know uh, neutralize this three partial attitude of the mind from <clears throat> neutralize you know uh, uh, overwhelming attachment towards your loved one then aversion towards enemy you know total ignorance uh, towards rest of the other sentient being so try to neutralize this three partial attitude <clears throat> uh, giving uh, uh, reason that you know all rest of the sentient being has been beneficial to you you know uh, in uh, like 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 beneficial as, as a mother uh, like that then that will lead to a, um, you know, tarot cultivation of the first point from the seven point thought, uh, seven point cause and effect, the recognizing all sentient beings mother. Then you do this thir uh, second, third, fourth, up to the fifth point. So from the fifth point, uh, then you uh, uh, train in the four, four technique, four point technique. Uh, which is, um, you know, equalizing. Again, you, you, you reinforce in the practice of equalizing from this three partial attitude. Um, mm -hmm. Then the second one is recognizing all the faults of self-cherishing attitude. Third one is uh, cultivate, cultivating the, all the benefits of cherishing others. Then the fourth one is, you know, actually exchanging self with others you know, try to really uh, flip our mind, you know, the way how you used to cherish yourself, now you try to really uh, direct toward the rest of the sentient being. You know, you, you yourself put the last one, you know, after cherishing rest of the sentient being, uh, like that. Then after that, then move to the number six from the seven point, top, uh, seven point uh, uh, cause and effect, you move to the number six, then, 
you know, you develop the the practice of uh, training in the number uh, the, the technique of number six. That by myself alone, without wasting even a moment, without you know uh, waiting someone's assistant, uh, in this very moment with the full effort, full force, by myself alone, that I'm going to uh, and dedicate my full energy. I'm going to dedicate was I'm going to liberate numberless sentient beings from from entire oceans of samsara and its causes and going to abide them from the temporary happiness up to the everlasting happiness fully enlightenment. So you you just infuse with the most courage, courageous mind of Haksam within your memory commitment. So the moment you <clears throat> uh, fully matured with number six point here, then that will result in the bodhicitta. Uh, so now where the Tonglen practice comes, comes in, the Tonglen practice comes in as a supplementary, uh, you know, of course the Tonglen practice can be the result of developing Bodhicitta uh, in a most effective way, but as a, as, a, as, a, as, a, as a general training in the practice of Tonglen practice, play as a supplement, uh, even after generating, uh, was it, was it, um, uh, yeah, so bef before, before generating the uh, number 0. 0.6, the, 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 uh, we say that the, from the seven point cause and effect, the number six, before actualizing that, uh, developing that point, then you try to train your heart in Tonglen practice. <clears throat> you meditate on Tonglen practice. So that will strengthen, you know, uh, once, once, um, uh, uh, the mind stream uh, to have to have a more uh, matured, uh, you know, the haksam or the number six point. Then that will help to result in a bodhicitta as a result, uh, like that. So, <clears throat> yeah. So, yeah. So to to you know to to actualize uh, uh, the realization uh, of of bodhisattva. You know, to become Buddhistatva, you know, have to go through this step of trainings. Uh, you know, to able to bring the most effective practice of Tonglen, also have to go through the development of these practices. So now we go to the verse 90. It says, there's no difference between myself and others. None of us wishes for even the slight, slightest of suffering or is ever contained with the happiness we have. Realizing this, I seek your blessing that I may generate joy for the happiness of others. Mm -hmm. So this is developing equanimity between self and others. So there's no difference. You know, so we need to uh, continue to uh, remind ourselves, you know, giving uh, varieties of reasonings. Uh, uh, the, uh, like, 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 like here. There's no difference between myself and others. You know, giving a reason why you why you have to cherish others' well-being. The thing is, yourself and others are no difference. What 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 makes no difference? Uh, uh, emotionally, none of us wishes even a slightest of suffering. Yourself do not wish even a slightest form of suffering, and rest of your family members, and rest of the other sentient beings, including enemies and the strangers. As long as it's a samsaric six to sentient being, we are emotionally sane. We do not wish even a slightest form of suffering. Not only that, um, uh, we are not uh, uh, ever content with the happiness we have, you know, uh, meaning that we never, as long as we are subjected to samsara or under the influence of karma and delusion, we never experience genuine happiness. Whatever that play, whatever so-called happiness that what we are experiencing, in fact, is not true happiness. It is suffering of change. You see, so uh, you know, never contain you know uh, both oneself and rest of the other sentient thing. Never contain with the happiness we have, you know, we, because we never experience the genuine happiness. You see, and always dissatisfied uh, you know whatever gain that we receive within 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 our lifetime whatever form of joy and happiness that we experience uh, you know in our life 
uh, we never gain full, con uh, full contentment because the object that we experience, in fact, is not characterized as a genuine happiness. So in fact, we never experience true happiness, you see. <clears throat> uh, in samsara, there's no way we can experience true happiness, you see. Uh, as long as we are not free from delusion, you know, we won't, we won't able to experience true happiness. As long as we, we are not free from karma, <clears throat> uh, we won't able to experience true happiness, you see. <clears throat> uh, so therefore, self and the rest of the other sentient being, so equally, uh, you know, in samsara, never experience happiness, never contented with what we have, you see. And in short, oneself and the rest of the others are aspiring for true happiness, genuine happiness, you know, lasting happiness, you know. Uh, so this is, uh, with this reason, then myself and the rest of the others are no different. So therefore, mm, uh, we need to care for others' well-being, you see. So realizing the above reasons, so I seek your blessing that I may generate the joy for the happiness of others, you know. So convincing yourself with all these factual reasons, then uh, with the help of, you know, requesting blessing from, from the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, uh, for your heart to be fully nurtured to arise, you know, the great compassion, great love, you know, uh, altruism, cherishing the well-being of numberless sentient beings. So like that. So now verse 91, exchanging self and others, contemplating the faults of self-cherishing. Uh, this chronic disease of cher uh, cherishing myself is the cause giving rise to my unsought suffering. Receiving this, I seek your blessing to blame, uh, begrudge, and destroy the monster demon of selfishness. <clears throat> uh, so whatever, whatever form of sufferings, difficulties that we face, you know, including this coronavirus uh, issues in around the world, you know, each and every one, directly or indirectly, is some way somehow is affected. And it is inconvenient to all of us, isn't it? Where this, the root cause of this is coming from cherishing myself, you know, due to the self-centered ego, self-centered, uh, the action committed by the self-centered attitude because of that. Now, you know, when you look into the different articles, you know, there are so many articles come out and many of those articles are not even written by the Buddha, uh, Buddhist practitioners. Some are just, just you know, uh, uh, some are, uh, you know, nothing to do with the Buddhist, Buddhist teaching, but they are who care for, you know, climate change, who, who care for the uh, preservation of, uh, you know, uh, the, the natural existence of the world, you know. Uh, when they when, when you look into their articles, you know they uh, they emphasize very clearly that whatever crisis that we are going through is very much due to selfishness, self-centeredness. Mm. The actions of we, we humanity uh, uh, due to greed uh, and due to you know yeah due to greed and and selfishness. You see, so as a as a someone who exposed to you know Buddhist teaching, then this is something that should be very very clear. Mm. You see, mm. where the problems are coming from, small or big, is everything is come from starting from the the ignorance of you know self grasping and self cherishing mind. Mm. Uh, even suffering of change, that what we experience, you know, certain degree of pleasure within the sensual pleasure within self existent, uh, mm, uh, uh, even, even though it's in the form of pleasure, but then it turn, eventually will turn to suffering because it is, it, it is some sort of phenomena. And why, why that pleasure, why that happiness, why that gain unable to sustain? 
Again, the root causes because of self grasping and self charging. Right? You see. Mm. Why since beginningless lifetime, even while we have we have achieved this precious human rebirth, we are still unable to dedicate entire our energy in accumulation of virtue. There are so much leakage, you know, through our body, speech, and mind, committing negativities. Why? You know, yeah, we've been practicing maybe 20 years, 30 years, 40 years in Dharma. We met unbelievable, unbelievable realized beings in our life. You know, we are in the era of living uh, Buddha, uh, Buddha lively in the human form, you know, living, living in the time. How fortunate our life is, you know, we are in fact in the era of uh, Buddha is lively with us. You know, the compassion of Buddha Chenesi, that's in Gyatso. You know, so he's not a Dalai Lama, he's, you know, he's an he's a, uh, enlightened being, but in a human form. You know, Buddha lively exists within us in physical level. And not only Buddha exists, but he, you know, tied this, revealed the Dharma, giving advice to us, giving guidance to us. And how many of us, you know, we, we've been receiving his teachings, and especially in the internet age now, thousands of YouTube, thousands of books, thousands of, you know, the Dharma teaching articles that, <laughs> like, like, like overflowing, you know. And we do, we do read them, we do listen to them. Uh, but still, but still, there's a leakage from our body, speech, and mind committing uh, negative, negative, negative actions like, you know, getting unhappy, depression, uh, anxiety, uh, anger, jealousy, you know, and negative imputation on others. You see, why? Mm. Again, because this is because of still the self grasping and self cherishing is still playing a, a guidance to us, you know, still playing the ma major role within our system, you know, guiding our life. You see, and and we we follow uh, diligently. We follow without much uh, thinking twice. Is because of uh, we didn't acknowledge well about the existence of self-grasping and self-cherishing in our system. Like what Lama Tsongkhapa teaches, even to realize the ultimate nature, you know, Lama Tsongkhapa teaches us to recognize the negation first, then we will be able to negate the negation, you know. So if we want to realize emptiness, first we need to realize what is the negation, then we can be able to realize the the opposite, um, you know, uh, uh, the contradictory, um, uh, uh, the, the, that which is the wisdom of emptiness. You see, similar way, uh, we, here we have to recognize the how harmful the self-grasping and self-charging it may be, uh, it can be, and, and how these two root causes uh, has been playing a major role in our life, even while we are in a most fortunate time where there's abundance of Dharma, but still we have leakage, you see. So that means we need to carry a mindfulness that always being vigilant of uh, within our mental system that not allowing the self-grasping and self-cherishing to infuse us, isn't it? <clears throat> so, yeah, all the past Buddhas have, Buddhas have uh, realized, recognized, and emphasized thousands of thousands of times in the, in the sutras, uh, in, uh, in, in the treatise, you know, uh, up to our gurus, you know, emphasizing the faults of self grasping and self charging So similar way here, Penjanos and Chugi Jandan say, this chronic diseases of self cherishing myself is the cause giving rise to my unsought suffering. You know, all the suffering that you do not want comes in our way because of this self-cherishing mind. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so therefore, 
<clears throat> uh, receiving this. It was a, therefore I seek your bl uh, bl blessing, you know, to 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 uh, remembering, uh, you know, Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, gurus, and re requesting their blessing to have this firm uh, mindfulness uh, to recognize the faults of self grasping, self cherishing, and always, you know, give the blame onto them, uh, begrudge onto them, and then you know, completely negate them, destroy the monstrous demon of selfishness. <clears throat> so, so this is also the guide, you know, from the seven, uh, from the four point uh, training of the mind uh, uh, towards Pudicita, uh, you know, to uh, uh, the verse, ni verse 90 is to, to equalize. Verse 91 is to, you know, to focus on the second point uh, to see the forms of the self cherishing. Mm -hmm. So then, the verse ninety two is the, uh, the the third point. You know, contemplating on the advantage of cherishing others. Uh, <clears throat> so he says, the mind that cherishes mothers and places them in bliss is the gateway leading to infinite qualities. Seeing this, I seek your blessing to cherish these transmigrated beings. Hmm? So all the happiness from a temporary, even, even, from, even a temporary pleasure in samsara, you know, comes from cherishing others. You know, uh, even the light of the sun uh, that we are able to experience, the light of the moon that you know some shining light in the moon a light of the moon in the darkness that we experience uh, is the result of cherishing others well being you know even uh, that we have food to eat you know uh, to uh, shelter family um, you know all the resources both for uh, mundane as well as a spiritual practice are uh, all a byproduct of merit. Where the merit comes from? By cherishing other sentient beings' well being. You see? And not only that, all the realization in the path of six parameta, like development of loving, kindness, compassion, including you know, the, the development of the six causes, the result of bodhicitta, five paths and ten grounds. All the way up to the enlightenment is byproduct of cherishing other sentient beings' well-being. So, so, this, so this is, and again, you know, all the past Buddhas, Bodhisattvas, you know, gurus uh, have have spoken thousands of times uh, this fact, including here, Penjin Nosan Chugi Jansen, you know, put into his writing that mind that cherishes mothers and place them in bliss uh, is the gateway leading to infinite qualities, uh, <clears throat> causing other sentient beings to, to the happiness, temporary happiness, or to ultimate happiness. In like just even like uh, generating inspiration at the beginning. And at the end of the teaching, we dedicate our merits, whatever virtue we accumulate, we're dedicating merit to other sentient beings. You know, that is the way we, how we cherish this. And that way, uh, through, that, through those practices, we accumulate much merit. And those merits are the causes of your own temporary happiness after the ultimate happiness in life. Mm. You know, uh, by cherishing others' well being is the gateway to infinite qualities. Uh, qualities of the Buddhist. Uh, qualities of the Buddhas, you know, uh, the great concentrations, you know, great wisdom, great omniscient, you know, altruism, great blessings, great perfections, you know, such as perfection in the, in the, in the ten perfections, six perfections. All these qualities of the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas are the byproduct of uh, cherishing other sentient beings' well-being.
you know, starting from your family members, friends, and the rest of the humanity, the rest of the numberless sentient beings, you know, cherishing their well, well-being. See? Mm. So like that. Mm. So seeing this, I see your blessing to cherish this transmigrant being. So again, our mind, our 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 mind is not easy to listen to this instruction. It's not easy for us to uh, to generate, you know, uh, according with such teaching. And uh, because we have so much habituation of the negative side from beginning last lifetime. So therefore, we need to invoke, you know, Buddha, Dharma, Sangha, Buddhas, Bodhisattvas in particularly, and gurus, you know, uh, then uh, by reciting their name mantras, doing sadhanas of those, you know, Buddhist, Bodhisattvas, Buddha's practices, uh, you know, aspiring to the Bodhisattvas deeds, like including such as like reading, like, you know, Bodhisattvas way of life, uh, you know, reading, reflecting to the biography of the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas. Uh, mm, then, you know, try to uh, channel as much as blessing as possible in the mental condition. Uh, to, you know, to, to our, our mind to be able to completely, completely matured into fully, you know, uh, developed, cherishing the well-being of less of number of sentient beings. So like that. Mm. Uh, so you cherish other sentient beings more than my life, even should they raise up as my enemy. So you see, mm. uh, not only in the good time, not only when others treat good for us, then we kind of, you know, able to generate uh, aspiring love, compassion, express and cherishing of others. But when someone turned negatively towards us, you know, we, lo we lost the coolness in Dharma practices, coolness in the practice of loving kindness, compassion. Mm. So here, you know, we, we, we need you know, immense blessings that uh, Immense of blessings and inspiration and reminder, uh, uh, like such as always, you know, uh, reading the uh, teaching that discuss on Bodhicitta, like Chandideva's Bodhisattva Abhacharya, like Ornament of Sutra, <clears throat> uh, you know, Buddhist, Bodhisattva's uh, life stories, and always. Uh, having discourse uh, in in the teachings of the uh, you know the Mayan Dharma in particular, you know, emphasizing the essence of the Mayan Dharma teaching Buddhism, and relying on the perfect Mayan Guru mm, who reveal um, you know who who always emphasize who always you know reveal the teachings on Bodhicitta, you know, keep reminding us. Mm, like such as you know, Isomas, the Dalai Lama, like Yabjan Lama you know. Mm. Uh, whichever teaching that you go, you know, uh, it's almost like you, you have heard that thousand times, but then, but then at the same time, you know, this teaching is the most needed to your heart, even today, like that, you know. Mm. Uh, because they, yes, yeah, they all the time emphasize these teachings. And this, this has to be the way, you see, in order uh, to nurture, you know, the disciples, the sentient men like us, that who have very thick imprint of uh, neg negative emotion, in particular, you know, the, self the imprint of self-cherishing. So in order to, uh, you know, uh, release from that bondage of self-cherishing imprint, then mm, that we have to you know, rely diligently uh, in, in the t t teachings uh, and rely uh, to the perfect Mayani gurus, you know, even when we make aspiration of prayers, that we make a prayer to always, not only in this life, but ever lifetime, never, never to be separated from the perfect Mayani guru. You know, we, we make an aspiration of prayer like that. Uh, so the developing 
bodhicitta is not not a not a journey of one life you know it may even take three countless years and we as a sentient being as a trainee that we always needed a guidance we always needed a reminder you see <clears throat> so like that so <clears throat> uh, so therefore you know uh, we have to train our heart uh, in cherishing other others well-being even in the situation of when others you know treat us badly when uh, when others treat us negatively so then lc93 is exchanging uh, ex exchanging self-cherishing for cherishing others so this is the fourth point that uh, you know directly cherish exchanging the act actual exchanging of self uh, self cherishing for cherishing others so in brief uh, it's in verse 93 it says in brief um, infantile beings labor only for their own ends or oh, oh, well the able ones work solely for the wealth of others with the mind understanding the distinction between the failing of one and the advantage of others i see your blessing to uh, enable me to equalize exchange myself with others hmm. so uh, the infantile beings uh, like a childish one is referring to you know uh, who is who is uh, referring to like myself who is you know uh, intensely distracted by some sorry you know edwardly concerns distracted by uh, material uh, you know some sorry phenomena mm. or oh, all oh, this some uh, so the distraction of delusions mm. the distraction of delusions Mm. Uh, you see so yeah so th so we are very much like that uh, well the so therefore that therefore you know uh, up to today we are unable to uh, become just like the buddhas and the Arya Bodhisattva, or the Bodhisattvas, and Arya Bodhisattva, ordinary Bodhisattvas, Arya Bodhisattva, so Arahats. We are unable to become just like them because of that, because of those distractions. But then, well, the ever ones work solely for the welfare of others. So, those Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, who they are today, because of, they had this, uh, you know, the mind of wisdom that they realizing the faults of self cherishing and cherish the well-being of others, you know, they are able to achieve all those benefits. And they, by engaging all the time in the work of the benefit of others. So therefore, look, you know, referring to the example, your own situation and the, uh, the achievement that achieved by past Buddhas and Buddhas, with the mind understanding the distinction between the failing of ones and the advantage of others, you know, uh, by understanding that, then I seek your blessing and able to equalize exchange self with others. You see, so it's a very clear, uh, you know, reason display out there. Your own situation, endless samsara, and others like Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, uh, you know, they are completely free from entire adversities. And this is simply because of we follow the the under the influence of self cherishing mind and buddha buddha suffers follow the uh the attitude of uh, altruism by cherishing others so understanding these two distinction then i see your blessing and ever pass to now you know we come to a point that uh that may may my heart you know fully ripen to truly exchange uh the way how i you know uh, blindly cherishing myself now i you know, exchange that, you know, cherish the well-being of numberless sentient beings, you see. So that doesn't mean that you are discounting yourself. That doesn't mean you're abandoning 
you know, your own welfare. The, <clears throat> so in fact, by cherishing others, uh, you know, serve genuine benefits of one's own gain uh, up, to, up to the highest gain of full enlightenment. So, so cherishing others, caring for the other's well-being is the best way uh, to, to serve one's benefit. You know, is, is the way to cherish oneself. So cherishing others' well-being is the way to cherish oneself, oneself's benefit. You see, abandoning others' well-being and only, you know, cultivating cherishing of one's well-being, you know, that become one of the most dangerous causes to bring oneself down to experience the, the tremendous suffering of samsara. Mm. So this is the, the from the four of developing bodhicitta, the fourth point. Uh, and that continues also uh, uh, verse 94. Cherishing myself in the doorway to all loss, while cherishing my mothers is the foundation of all qualities. Hence I seek your blessing to make my heart practice the yoga of exchanging self of others. Mm -hmm. So it's very clear there. Uh, yeah. Uh, Self-cherishing, uh, which is very much built on the basis of self-grasping. Mm -hmm. You see, so because of the the foundation, you know, serving served by the self-grasping ignorance, then from there you build the uh, the uh, wrong attitude of self-cherishing mind. And therefore, this two mind, self grasping and self cherishing mind, is the doorway to all the, all the losses of all the qualities, all the losses of all the happiness. <clears throat> uh, mm, uh, you know, uh, abundance of causes, committing causes for, this, for the faults and suffering. While cherishing my mother is, is the foundation of all qualities. So cherishing of numberless sentient beings well being. Starting from your present mother, pres present loving family, then to the rest of sentient beings is the is the causes or is the foundation to, of the, all the good qualities, you know, after full enlightenment. Hence I see your blessing of my heart practice yoga of exchanging. Uh, so again, it is not easy practice. Not easy for our heart to, you know. Uh, get understand. Even one may understand, but really to apply in action or practice is very hard. So we need immense of blessing, immense, immense of courage, uh, mindfulness, inspiration. We need it. So therefore, again, you know, we seek the blessing from the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas and Gurus. You see, <clears throat> uh, to to nurture my heart to. Uh, fully successful in the yoga of changing self and others. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so like that. So how much time we have? <clears throat> how Limitless. Much time? Huh? Limitless. <laughs> then, 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 then there's a danger of, um, I may I may causing you know, to, to, to torture the self-grasping and self-charging you know, for some, you know. <laughs> it's, it's too much. <laughs> uh, okay. Mm. Mm. Okay, maybe I think I, I stop here, maybe. Uh, I stop here and we do one more session uh, to the same topic. So the next session, I will go through the that there is there's a, there's a prayer. Um, it's a thought, thought transformation prayer of Buddha's previous life. 
Um, yeah, so each verse is, you know, tells some stories uh, of the uh, Buddha's previous lives and how they um, engage in the practice of selflessness and practice of altruism. And then also there's a prayer to become like the Buddha's in his, pre in his past lives. So again, you know, the verses uh, uh, remind us with, with the amazing factual stories of the, you know, Buddha's past lifetimes, how they uh, engage in the practice of altruism. So maybe uh, we, we can just go through that and get reminded of the previous teaching, previous practice, uh, the importance of compassion, importance of bodhicitta, importance of you know the self exchanging with others then that will lead to the the one verse verse 95 where verses of actual tonglen practice then we can do some meditation together so if that is okay with all of you for next sunday then i would like to stop here and maybe we can do short prayer together uh dedicating uh you know, to overcome the COVID-19 crisis around the world, uh, and especially dedicating for those people who pass away due to this disease, uh, and also, you know, contribute a meritorious protection to the frontliners and and each and every one of uh, ourselves, for our family members, and entire humanity. You know, and also dedicate to all the sentient beings, okay? So, do you have the, the prayer that I sent to you? Uh, can, if you have the prayer, the, the, the compiled prayer, the recommended prayer, so maybe we can uh, recite through that. Oh, yes. <clears throat> Yeah, so we will we will just follow the text, okay? And we can recite together. Maybe the mantras and uh, prayers we can just so like this. Can you hear me? Because I'm looking at the text and Suki, can you still hear me? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I can great. hear you. Okay, thank you. Okay, now we start uh, with refuge and bodhicitta. Sanje chetan zo je jo namalai chanju badu dani ja sunje da je je so je be so namaji dola benje sanje ju marai yo so those of you uh, who wish to read in tibetan you can read together with me otherwise you can read in English, and you can read the meaning. Uh, you can still, uh, you can still, you can still to mute or whatever. Individually, let them recite by the Sangue, <laughs> 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 
ซึมเจตัมเจตัมเจตัมเจตัมเจตัมเจตัมเจตัมเจตัมเจตัมเจตัมเจตัมเจตัมเจตัมเจตัมเจตัมเจตัมเจตัมเจตัมเจตัมเ
Someone is putting Dalai Lama's name mantra. <clears throat> uh, first, we do the spirit. Tonye Nije Zondo Jube Lai, Seje Seje Ganje Dende Chana Bemo Dinze Jazo Lai, Sova Dezo Shende Lulu Oma Guru Venza Dara Badara Nasukasa. Om Guru Benza Dara Badara Manzo Shire Wagenda Sumadi Jana Shasana Dara Samodara Shire Bada Sawasidi Om Guru Benza Dara Badara Manzo Shire Wagin Wagenda Suma de Jana Shasana Dara Samunda Shire Bada Sava Sidi Oma Guru Venza Dara Badara Manju Shire Wagenda Suma de Jana Shasana Dara Samunda Shire Bada Sava Sidi Oma Guru Venza Dara Badara Manju Shire Wagenda Suma de Shire Janaza Dara Samunda Shire Bada Sava Sidi Oma Guru Benza Dara Badara Manju Shire Wagenda Suma de Jana Shasana Dara Samunda Shire Bada Sava Sidi Oma Guru Venza Dara Badara Manju Shire Wagenda Suma de Jana Shasana Dara Samunda Shire Bada Sava Sidi Oma Jadara Badara Manju Shire Wagenda Suma de Jana Shasan Dara Samunda Shire Bada Sawa Sidi Dewa de Nyodo Daya Bande Lama do Yone Towa Jiyaman Yes Allah Gurbarai Chemezi Chadon Golo Jube Jabodon Echendon Gurwa Zambu Zangeto Kala Kandu Adela Dedenbe Tsumba Chire Sela Chaze Lo Ommani Beme O Money Rebenza do da haya gewa holo holo honde. Rebenza do da haya gewa holo holo honde. Rebenza do da haya gewa holo holo honde. Rebenza do da haya gewa holo honde. 
Oi be ma shawari be no brashi na ganne na daya da sawa bere da hana hana benjen raja raja so oi be ma shawari be no brashi na ganne na daya da sawa bere da hana hana benjen raja raja so so uh uh, at the end of the reciting of the Veja Amo, so you can do your uh, hand uh, touch from the cheek uh, to the nose, then you blow. Uh, the air goes in the nose like that. <clears throat> the Medicine Buddha. Medicine Buddha's name uh, mantra first. Chunde de 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 java da jomba ya da ba zo de zang ye min ye lam bin du ya wei ye ya bo la cha da lo chunde de 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 java da jomba ya da ba zo de zang ye min ye lam bin du ya wei ye ya bo la cha da chunde de 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 java da jomba ya da ba zo de zang ye min ye lam bin du ya wei ye ya bo la cha da lo chunde de 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 java da jomba ya da ba zo de zang ye min ye lam bin du ya wei ye ya bo la cha da Jumden de de jin jaba da jumba ya da ba zo de san ye min ye la bin du ya wei ji jaba la cha sa lo jumden de de jin jaba da jumba ya da ba zo de san ye min ye la bin du ya wei ji jaba la cha sa lo jumden de de jin jaba da jumba ya da ba zo de san ye min ye la bin du ya wei ji jaba la cha sa lo jumden de de jin jaba da jumba ya da ba zo de san ye min ye la bin du ya wei ji jaba la cha sa lo jumden de de jin jaba da jumba ya da ba zo de san ye min ye la bin du ya wei ji jaba la cha sa lo jumden de de jin jaba da jumba ya da ba zo de san ye min ye la bin du ya wei ji jaba la cha sa lo jumden de de jin jaba da jumba ya da ba zo de san Tayada om beganze beganze ma beganze beganze ranja samu gade so Tayada om beganze beganze ma beganze beganze ranja samu gade so Tayada om beganze beganze ma beganze beganze ranja samu gade so Tayada om beganze beganze ma beganze beganze ranja samu gade Dayada oi beganze beganze ma beganze beganze ranja samu gade so Dayada oi beganze beganze ma beganze beganze ranja samu gade so Dayada oi beganze beganze ma beganze beganze ranja samu gade so ai jewa de nyo do da men ne sanje me la dun dun ne do wa ji ja ma be ba de sa la ge ba re jo ma de ta la ko wa le do da re ma do da re ji ge do do re na wa na le do to ma yum la cha ze Om dare do dare do re so 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 
Om dare du dare du rezo, om dare du dare du rezo. Om dare du dare du rezo, om dare du dare du rezo. Om dare du dare du rezo, om dare du dare du rezo. Jawa de nyu do da ju ju du ma ju ju ne ju a ju ya ma lu ba de sa la ge ba la ju. Tan ma sha wa ri. Jawa gu ye 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 ju ma ye ju du na ba ju ba le ju ge na mu ga ye du be ne du ye bu du xi ze ma la cha ze. Om Besha Zhe Bana Shavari Sava Zara Tasha Mana Yesu Om Besha Zhe Bana Shavari Sava Zara Tasha Mana Yesu Om Besha Zhe Bana Shavari Sava Zara Tasha Mana Yesu Om Besha Zhe Bana Shavari Sava Zara Tasha Mana Yesu Om Besha Zhe Bana Shavari Sava Zara Tasha Mana Yesu Om Besha Zhe Bana Shavari Sava Zara Tasha Mana Yesu Om Besha Zhe Bana Shavari Sava Zara Tasha Mana Yesu Ay Gewa De Nyo Do Da Lo Ma Nyo Ma Do Jo Ne Do Wa Ji Nyo Ma Lu Ba De Ye Sa La Ge Ba Ra Yi Jo The God is Nam Jo Ma Namé zhenda benza do da ya hulu hulu tikta tikta benda benda hana hana ami de humbe Namé zhenda benza do da ya hulu hulu tikta tikta benda benda hana hana ami de humbe Namé zhenda benza do da ya hulu hulu tikta tikta benda benda hana hana ami de humbe Namé zhenda benza do da ya hulu hulu tikta tikta benda benda hana hana ami de humbe Namé zhenda benza do da ya hulu hulu tikta tikta Tidak benda benda hana hana ame dehuam, nama zenda benda do daya hulu hulu tidak tidak benda benda hana hana ame dehuam, nama zenda benda do daya hulu hulu tidak tidak benda benda hana hana ame dehuam. The namjuma mantra, namjuma cleansing practice is a traditionally well used, well practiced to purify. Um, like strokes, uh, cancer, uh, mm, uh, skin diseases, uh, you know, mm, in Tibetan Buddhist tradition is very well used practice. So, yeah, so mm, it's very beneficial for that. Pandit <clears throat> Lamo. जो रामो जो रामो जो जो रामो थी जो खाला राजे मो रामो अच्छा दाजा थी जो रुलो रुलो हूँ जो हूँ जो रामो जो रामो जो जो रामो थी जो खाला राजे मो रामो आधा जाजा थी जो रुलो रुलो हूँ जो जो रामो जो रामो जो जो रामो थी जो खाला राजे मो रामो अच्छा दाजा थी जो रुलो रुलो हूँ जो हूँ जो रामो जो रामो जो जो रामो थी जो खाला राजे मो रामो अच्छा दाजा थी जो रुलो रुलो हूँ जो जो रामो जो रामो जो जो रामो थी जो खाला राजे मो रामो अच्छा दाजा थी जो रुलो रुलो हूँ जो जो रामो जो रामो जो जो रामो थी जो खाला राजे मो रामो अच्छा दाजा थी जो रुलो रुलो हूँ जो जो रामो जो रामो जो जो रामो थी जो खाला राजे मो रामो अच्छा दाजा थी जो रुलो रुलो the Tandon Yalbo's prayer. Leda Lobo Jinle Juwa Yi Dena Neda Jumbe Tsewa So Simje Yimi Dewe Nena Ma Be Jide Khamso Chungwa Ma Yuji Chedra Shime Chibbe Seja Shime Keji Chila Le Sime Da Jibbe Sobe Neje Dunga Chimi Eba Chide Gansu Chungwa Ma Yuji Chida Shinje Kana Tsubada Neje Mingta Tobe Da Jibbe 
Nece bana da verim soyge lüce kullan ve bana gürüce. Nebe gire donda gacoda lobroye dosun gacoda. Şeca zaze ne lazo bayi lüce kullan ve bana gürüce. Ve sen devam alı toze be cüce tübe duna çeke. Malı şişe da da dem bada sirene me de ge dem raşı Lama gücü sun ge tuşe da kandu çücüm sun me du do ne tu bada Nende loa me be den do ge mova molam da ze du barayju So this practice uh, conjoined with the recitation of uh, Om Mani Pemiram Cheresi's mantra. So since we recited the Cheresi mantra before, so uh, it can be uh, fine with that for today. So now we make the dedication. <clears throat> so uh, dedicated in bodhicitta, dedicated in emptiness. So dedicated in bodhicitta by simply um, whatever um, uh, virtues, uh, dharma, uh, merits, a positive energy that we accumulated uh, from beginningless lifetime, and particularly this in this very session, uh, to be the complete cause for numberless sentient beings, temporary happiness after the ultimate happiness of enlightenment. Also, this merit be a complete cause to dispel uh, the, all the hindrances uh, that experiencing uh, to the humanity is. The, uh, COVID-19 crisis to be pacified as soon as, uh, as possible. And may, may this be the complete cause for all the humanity, you know, learn the lesson from this to cultivate uh, virtue, uh, morality, compassion. And also uh, dedicate uh, in emptiness, the dedicate of yourself, the merit, the object for what we dedicate. Mm, everything you know, exists interdependently, do not exist uh, at all inherently from its own sight. So in short, uh, you know, Mm, whatever merit that we accumulate, we dedicate, just like the Bodhisattva, Manjushri, Bodhisattva, Samanabhadra, Bodhisattva, Cherasik, how they dedicate whenever they accumulate merit for the benefit of the sentient thing. I too dedicate just like that. Then uh, we are reciting the rest of the prayer individually to dedicate uh, uh, from your side for any individual dedications. Uh, in particularly those of uh, people who request, you know, help and prayers, and dedication merit from you, so you can take opportunity, you know, to dedicate this collective merit through you to them. Also, since uh, conventionally you have karmic, special karmic affinity with the rest of your family members and people whom you know, <clears throat> uh, uh, you know, in your, this life. Uh, conventionally, so you can take opportunity to dedicate this collective merit through you to them, it will be so effective, will be so beneficial in this way. You can also conjoin with the merits that are accumulated by past, present, future Buddhas, Bodhisattvas, Gurus, or mm, any human beings, uh, you know, whatever merit they accumulate, also combine together and dedicate for the same purpose. May all this merit be a complete cause, each and every one of us, uh, our life be most meaningful, to have uh, courage, to have wisdom, uh, to have mindfulness, to have capability and the resources, uh, to be able to dedicate entire one's body, speech and mind solely for the benefit of each and every numberless sentient beings, temporary happiness after the ultimate happiness and enlightenment. Starting from the sentient being just next to you, you know, can be the ants, uh, can be mouse, can be your cat, your dog, 
can be your partner, can be your parent, can be your children, can be ghosts, can be spirit, can be anybody. Uh, you know, starting from that nearest person, nearest being. Uh, may your body, spirit, mind, entirety of your body, spirit, mind, you know, complete cause of their temporary happiness up to the ultimate happiness of the From this very moment onward, may whoever see me, uh, remember me, think of me, uh, praise me, criticize me, uh, mm -hmm. you know, even hear you know, name, even see your picture, even hear people gossiping about you, or even uh, torture you, abuse you, even come and cause your life. May every single action that relates to that sentient being, starting from that particular sentient being, to the rest of the numberless sentient being, uh, may my being be only cause uh, to their temporary happiness, up to the everlasting happiness of enlightenment. You know, we need so much merit for our life to be in that position. You know, we need so much blessing our life to be that in that position. You know, and and with common sense, you know, logically, if our life, even one moment of our life can ever to dedicate like that, be like that position, how wonderful. How meaningful, how precious, you know. You see, it's like you become like a wish fulfilling jewel to the rest of the numberless sentient beings. Yeah. So, all the merits of the Buddhas, Gurus, you know, and your own past merit and merit that accumulated, particularly this time, be the cause for myself to be like that. Be that, in, be that position. Chanjo semjo rimbo je ma je ba na ma je juro je kya wa nya ba me ba ya kone gombo ke wa rai sho ito nye da wa rimbo je ma je ba na ma je juro je kya wa nya ba me ba kone gombo ke wa rai sho rimye da wa rimbo je ma je ba na ma je juro je kya wa nya ba me ba Kone gondo pewarai sho kare rave korve shingam je pendan te wa ma le cho ve me Chere se wan ten zin ya zo ye sha be se de ba do ten juro ye Tup zo chan je jang wun ya ve ten zin jong pe ve gun zo do bo je Cho zo ngo ve le me tu do ba da zo du je gun do sha be de Chan be ba ve je da ra ken ba da gun do zang bo de yang de jing je de da gun je je so da lo Ye wa de da tam je rab do ngo de zun che be ya wa tam je ki ngo wa gang la cho do ngo ba de Da je je ve za wa de gun ja sang bo che je rab do ngo Nimondele zendele nime gunya dele jingi zendado dele be kunjo sumji Taji jo bedan zo wa mi gwe be isi nu wo pa samji Samji ra wang kunze be samba che shimbi Taji jo chum de ni dini shabar da jomba yanda ba zule zendi na mando zewe Ika bala cha zule chue sa ba zumba jimbo kuno sa bala cha zule Taya dao beza di ao buda ne zom duru duru zaya mi jesu Taya dao beza di ao buda ne zom duru duru zaya mi jesu Taya dao beza di ao buda ne zom duru duru zaya mi jesu Taya dao beza di ao buda ne zom duru duru zaya mi jesu Taya dao beza di ao buda ne zom duru duru zaya mi jesu Taya dao beza di ao buda ne zom duru duru zaya mi jesu Taya dao beza di ao buda ne zom duru duru zaya mi jesu Taya dao beza di ao buda ne zom duru duru zaya mi jesu Taya dao beza di ao buda ne zom duru duru zaya mi jesu Om duru duru zaya mo jesu Chum de di jo wadang jo mayan da ba zule zini mei jila bide wei jia ba la chum de Chum de di jo wadang jo mayan da ba zule zini mo da mo la da jira du du Ya ba la cha zai lo cha ji ong bo den ba o ba mi mi ba zai yang sa da jire si di jia ba jie dun de den be ma la jie mi Nyo do jimen jo se jie jia wei jila da den de lu wa mi be den da jie lang sa da jie Nam da me be ne gyo do gyo ro jie Den ba jie den kam zi gyo ba da den ba nyi wei shi de sao Den zi pu lo shi de Den ba yu re ne be a da shi Lula de ne am na lula chu ba sum ji ta ji ji ngana de ne ji ni ta ji ji ba ba sum ji ji ni ji ba ta ji ji Okay, thank you very very much and I'm...